Yo, good morning everybody. Ooh, it's an automatic light. Uh, I hope the daylight savings time if you're in the United States didn't totally screw you up today. This is Brendan, of course. I wanted to come with you with an answer today that has been popping up a lot on Quora, and I thought I would take the opportunity for a few minutes this morning to talk about it, just because I think it would, uh, I think it would be helpful for everybody. There's a lot of these questions that are coming out on Quora, and the questions are like, what do I do? Ooh, it's bright suddenly. What do I do to develop self-confidence? How do I develop confidence? How do I become a more confident person? What kind of confidence do I get? Confidence, confidence, confidence. How do I be more confident? All of these questions. And I wanted to basically talk about this for a second because I think it the there's actually a pretty quick answer to this, and the answer is this. Uh, get better. That's it. Um, one of my uh, one of my mentors, a guy named Adam Lyons, who's really amazing and uh, really spectacular, he just put it like this, competence is confidence, that's it. Like, don't uh, buy into the idea that you're going to get confident and then go do the thing. Um, there's a great quote from the movie Three Kings that George Clooney says, and he says, um, bravery is the thing you get after the thing you did that scared the shit out of you. <laughs> so like, just do the thing. Like, accept that you might not be successful. Um, it's a bet, you know what I mean? It's a it's a bet. Are you gonna go talk to that girl and get shot down? Maybe. Like, why? Maybe. Who knows? Have some fun with it. You're gonna learn something either way. You know, it doesn't have to. You need to detach the idea of failure or success from your ego. That does being successful mean something about you? It does. It does actually. Does being does failing mean something about you? It does. But you know what means more than that is how you respond to it. So if you succeed and you become a total asshole and in your life you're surrounded by vapid, idiotic people because you have a lot of money and success and no personality and you're not a cool person, uh, no one is going to respect you. And if you fail and you allow that to define who you are, then you, you are a failure. So the truth is this, the confidence that you get comes from knowing how to perform and knowing how to perform and perform consistently and having faith that you're able to create outcomes that you want based on actions that you're taking. That comes from risking failure and then working through it. So Ray Dalio in his book Principles puts it like this, he's like, uh, look, I don't care so much about someone on a piece of paper saying that someone knows how to do something. I care more about someone having the ability to learn the things they need to do on the fly as it's happening. That's confidence. The reason that people who have already had success have more confidence is because in order to achieve that success, they've had to overcome lots of problems so they know they have the skills to solve and figure it out. There's just from my own life, coming from stand-up comedy, I've been doing it for 15 years. At this point, I can get in front of almost any audience. I've gotten in front of people who heckled the last comedian off stage. I've gotten in front of bachelorette parties. I've gotten in front of par teenagers. I've gotten in front of drunk dudes at bars. I've gotten in front of audience that almost know people. In Edinburgh, Scotland, this last summer, I did 45 minutes to two people in the audience. Look, the point is this. I've had enough experience that I know, look, I know how to handle this. And even if I'm up against a new challenge that I don't know, that I've never been in front of before, I know that I have the ability to figure it out because I've done it before. So basically, here's the thing that I want to tell you. Confidence is competence. And being competent comes from a drive to overcome challenges and failures. You have to accept that if you want to become a good boxer, if you want to become good at fighting, you have to get punched in the face. It just happens. The goal isn't to get punched in the face. You and I both know that. It's to win the fight. But the problem is that you can't learn how to box without actually boxing someone. And you can't be better at boxing without boxing people who are better than you. And you can't be box people who are better than you and not expect to get punched. So the idea is this. Continue to focus on the things you want to do and overcome the challenges. Risk the failure. It's part of the process. Once you have overcome those challenges, you will have the confidence to know that you're competent in the things that you're doing. So anyway guys, that's the video vlog for today. I hope you guys are doing well. Take care. And uh, meanwhile, the madness continues.